praise the Lord. <laughs> so, intercession. How powerful are the intercessions? How powerful are the intercessors? Lots of times when I was looking at um, people that have an actual spiritual authority and influence, I was looking at people in the hiding, not the visible people. <clears throat> See, in uh, 1 Corinthians 12, it's about the body of Christ, it says that we, we we dress up the organs, the, the parts of the body that actually don't have that much honor. But the ones that have honor, we don't really dress them up. We don't have to cover them that much. So important, the eyes. <laughs> so, so think about that. Is it possible that the most powerful, authoritative, maybe if there is a spiritual hierarchy, the closest to the Lord are the ones that you don't quite know or see, but they are moving the whole thing, the economy of God, everything comes through them and is distributed and is moved on the earth. <clears throat> is it possible? Lots of times I'm thinking it's not the visible ministry. It's not the ones with lots of views. Yes, they bring trends and ways of thinking and cultural changes. And um, But as far as bringing the heaven and the heavenly um, mentality and power into us into the earth, into the people's souls, um, might be the ones in the hiding. <laughs> Think about that. So the Holy Spirit loves, loves us and makes intercession so the destiny of God, because that's what we said, that remember the, the name of intercession, right? Um, the en tuncano, right? You are in a place to bring to pass. Okay, you give one a chance to become fully. So the Holy Spirit is making intercession so we can become who we are in the Spirit. So our soul will become him okay. Romans 8 24 for in hope we have been saved but hope that is seen is not hope for who hopes for what he already sees but if we hope for what we do not see we with perseverance we wait eagerly for it in the same way see not really with the things that can be seen Right? In the same way. Interesting. The Holy Spirit also helps us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as it should, but the Spirit Himself intercedes. Okay? Intercedes. In the word, in the Greek word, the, the original says hyper intercession. <laughs> intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is because he intercedes for the saints according to God. Or some translation said according to the will of God. But according to God. So what this word according, the word kata, K-A-T-A -A in Greek, it's a preposition denoting a motion from higher to
to lower. So this, this is so powerful because he intercedes to bring God to us. <laughs> the will of God. This is so beautiful. Romans 15.30 and now this is our part. Now I urge you, brethren, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit. See the love of the Spirit that intercedes for us. To strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. This is intercession. The love of the Spirit is to impart what is Jesus's into us. He brings the destiny of God for your life to accomplishment. The destiny of God for your life is Christ. That's what the Holy Spirit is working on. So Jesus intercedes as us. Holy Spirit intercedes in us. To bring God into us, into our soul. Okay. The intercession from the cross is what Jesus did as a substitution. Surely our griefs he himself bore, Isaiah 53 4, and our sorrows he carried. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The chastising for our well-being fell upon him. And by his scourging we are healed. He did it as us. He was sick with your sickness. So you can be healed with His health. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow, this is powerful. When we intercede as sons of God, we intercede in this oneness with Jesus. In, in Philippians 3.10 That I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His sufferings being conformed with His death. Wow! Being conformed with His death. It starts with the resurrection and ends with the death. Wow, that's so powerful. Meditate on that. How do we intercede for the body of Christ? We know the Holy Spirit does that. Intercedes for the saints according to the will of God to bring that will to bring Christ into the souls of the believers okay. how do we do that well we do it by the Spirit being one with the intercession of the Spirit okay. this is to manifest God the will of the Father in the people's souls. This is the intercession they feel in me for you that are hearing, are listening, are growing in knowing Him. This is my intercession for you. It talks about Jesus being in agony. He was praying very fervently. Luke 22, 44. And his sweat became like drops of blood falling down upon the ground. 
the same place, the same word agony is taken by the Apostle Paul, Colossians 1.24. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I do my share on behalf of his body, which is the church, my share. In filling up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions. Colossians 1.28 We proclaim him, admonishing every man and teaching every man with all wisdom, that we may present every man complete in Christ. For this purpose also I labor. This is the agonize, striving according to his power which mightily, mightily works within me. That agony, that deep, deep intercession for the body of Christ. Colossians 2.1 For I want you to know how great struggle I have on your behalf and for those who are at Laodicea and for all those who have not personally seen my face that their hearts may be encouraged having been knit together in love and attaining to all the wealth that comes from the full assurance of understanding, resulting in a true knowledge of God's mystery that is Christ himself. Wow. Wow. In Galatians 4.19, that's known, my children with whom I am again in labor until Christ is formed in you. Manifesting Christ is a laboring process that's for the spiritual parents. <laughs> Intercession. Yes. I do believe that the Jeremiah's and Isaiah's and Zacharias and they were laboring they learn about this because the word the word was when they would swallow it would be bitter <laughs> bitter it seems sweet but then when he got to their tummy it was bitter they were feeling that suffering first inside them and yes I absolutely believe that Christ fulfilled and took all the sufferings but at the same time he is calling us to co-labor with him co-labor not in our own strength not for our own ministry but to labor with him through his power through his might for his body so each of us will become will receive more of him will become him closer to him knowing him this is the ministry of intercession you're so loved